And it is a blessing this morning to have with us the ordinary for the United States Archdiocese of Military Services, Archbishop Timothy Broglio, joining us from Washington, D.C., where our friends listen on Guadalupe Radio, WMET. Your Excellency, good morning. Good to have you with us. Good morning. It's very good to be with you this morning. Now, most archdioceses really encompass a geographic area, not so with the Archdiocese of Military Services. How is your archdiocese set up? Ours is, of course, a personal archdiocese, so one is a member if uh, he or she is a an active-duty military uh, person in one of the five branches, or an immediate family member, or a patient in a Veterans Administration hospital. And then the final category are those who work, Catholics who work for the federal government outside of the confines of the United States, so ambassadors or federal contractors. Um, so our ministry is uh, based on uh, those categories of, uh, of people, and we try, to, uh, we try to minister to them where they are. And so many of those that you serve, so many in your flock, are in harm's way as we have military operations continuing in parts of the world. Tell us how Catholic cemeteries across the country join together to honor fallen members of the military on the upcoming Memorial Day. Well, Memorial Day, of course, has its uh, origins. I remember as a child it was called Decoration Day uh, because it grew up from a tradition of decorating the uh, the tombs of uh, Civil War veterans and those who had fallen during the Civil War. And so that element continues to be a part of uh, the celebration of Memorial Day every year. It is a time when we remember all of our dead, but in a particular way those who uh, have died in the service of, of our country. It's a way to pray for them. It's a way to participate in uh, uh, in their sacrifice by by remembering them in prayer and also by remembering the loved ones they left behind. Now, I know many of our Catholic cemeteries, or at least one per diocese or archdiocese, will have a special Mass on Memorial Day. How will you participate in Memorial Day, Archbishop? Well, actually, uh, we have a celebration uh, the week prior to Memorial Day, um, because, of course, Washington, D.C., that would be a holiday weekend. Uh, So we'll do that on Pentecost Sunday, the 19th of May. And actually, the the celebration of Memorial Day, um, I will find myself at the International Military Pilgrimage in Lourdes, France, um, which is also an opportunity to pray for peace with uh, military ordinaries from around the world uh, who gather for that for that international pilgrimage. Well, that certainly is a fitting spot to be on Memorial Day. In your work as the Archbishop of the Uh, United States Military Services, you uh, experience, I'm sure, great sadness among families who who lose loved ones um, in a very tragic way. Often um, very young people are dying. What kinds of pastoral work do you do with these families who have lost loved ones who have served their country? Well, the military communities continue to to try and minister to those who, who have lost loved ones, particularly those who remain attached to a military community. There, obviously, there is the immediate response uh, which the military makes to uh, to uh, a family when when they've lost a loved one, and then that that accompaniment that continues throughout the uh, funeral services and so forth, which can sometimes be um, several weeks after the actual uh, death. Um, and then there's a there's a continued uh, effort um, to keep these people in in prayer, and to try and support the families uh, any way that we can. Obviously, once uh, a family no longer has the direct contact uh, with the military, uh, our role is a bit diminished because if they're no longer living on a military installation, it would be very difficult to to come into contact with them in a direct sort of way. But we do invite all of the families um, to send the names of their loved ones, and then they're remembered at our, both in our chapel here in Washington and then at the Memorial Mass at the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception. And how blessed we all are as Catholics to be able to join in this communal prayer, this universal church prayer for those who have died. How does this Memorial Day and all the services that are planned 
remind us of the importance of praying for the dead? Well, I think it is a it's a, it's a deep reminder of the fact that we are all part of the communion of saints, and so we pray for those who uh, who have died, who have gone before us. At the same time, we ask the saints to intercede uh, for them and for us as well. And so it is a mutual uh, helping uh, that continues uh, that communion, that community that, that existed here on earth and that continues to exist afterwards. It is a great sense, particularly when we gather for the Eucharist and particularly in those celebrations that will be held throughout the United States uh, in cemeteries, in Catholic cemeteries will be a, a great reminder of the fact that we that we all are part of a community on a pilgrimage, a pilgrimage to everlasting life, and that we continue to help one another on our way. And of course, you continue to serve all who are serving in the military as well as veterans and other uh, government workers overseas. How can we, as this communion of saints, as this universal church, how can we specifically keep these people in our prayers uh, so that they will be protected? And I'm sure they face many challenges in their day-to-day work. They certainly do, and I think it's important to to remember to pray for uh, our servicemen and women and their families. The family pays a, a great price for uh, for the for the separation for the horrors of war, um, and it is very important to continue to remember um, these people, particularly the young people, in in our prayers, and in particular for this uh, for this Memorial Day observance, which is being sponsored by the Catholic Cemetery Conference. It's a good idea to, um, if you can, to participate in a mass at a cemetery, Catholic cemetery, in your uh, in your diocese or in your uh, your area. Uh, that's an important way to participate as well in this uh, in this national uh, remembrance. Yeah, in the Cincinnati area at Gate of Heaven Cemetery, Bishop Joe Binzer will be celebrating Mass, and it's just always a beautiful celebration with the Knights of Columbus, members of the military. I wonder if we could just ask you to lead us in a very short prayer for those who have died serving our country and those who continue to courageously serve. We'd be happy to. Father in Heaven... We ask you to look with love upon all our men and women in uniform. Keep them safe, especially those who are in harm's way. We remember as well those who have gone before us, who have made the ultimate sacrifice in the service of our nation, in helping us to preserve our way of life, 